G'day, Chriselle. Welcome to 60 Minutes Australia. G'day. How are you? <laughs> Great. You've got that down pat already. I'm really trying. <laughs> well, tell me, how is married life? Oh, married life is amazing. I feel like, you know, it, we're just so meant for each other, truly. What was it that first stood out to you about G Flip? What was that first attraction for you? Well, I mean, I will say when you see G perform on stage, it's just really, truly what they were meant to do. And it's so obvious and it's so sexy. Um, but it was sexy even though, you know, I, I was thinking, you know, I was straight at the time, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, but uh, after getting to know G and really knowing who they are, um, I realized, you know, they are sexy no matter, for me personally, you know, what I thought before. And then our just souls connected on so many levels and I just feel like, yeah, it was, it was a surprise to me, um, but the best surprise I've ever been given. So you feel like you have found your soulmate? Oh, 100% without a shadow of a doubt. And how have you slotted into the Flippo family? They're a pretty welcoming bunch, aren't they? They are the most welcoming, the funniest, the liveliest. Um, you know, so many things about them remind me of my own family. And um, so I just really felt at home right away. And you enjoy dad's bolognese? <laughs> yes. He kills the bolognese. It's, it's great. How have you enjoyed spending time in Australia? I love Australia. I feel like, I mean, obviously I'm very charmed by the accent <laughs> and, you know, it's just such a beautiful country and I feel like, you know, everyone is very down to earth and it does remind me a little bit of, you know, where I'm from in the South. Um, the accents are just a little different, but I feel like, you know, the no nonsense, you know, just say it like it is kind of demeanor. Uh, it reminds me of home and I really like that. No BS here. And I love that about Australia. I absolutely love it. And you guys, your sense of humor. It's not for everyone, but I feel like I love it. I really appreciate it. I want to ask about the connection that G Flip has with their fans because it's incredibly powerful, isn't it? How would you describe the impact G is having on their fans? I think that they're just, you know, not only giving so many people, you know, a, a real role model to look up to that wasn't always in this space before. But I think that they're, you know, they really are making an impact and you can see it at every single show. You know, you're seeing these people that, you know, are looking up to somebody that, you know, because I know them so well, is truly one of those people that deserves their admiration, that is truly somebody that is worthy to look up to. You know, what you see, is exactly who they are. There's not any changing for the cameras and, you know, just bringing their story to the, you know, to the forefront and giving visibility to who they are and their passion. I just feel like, you know, the fans catch on to that. And I always say this, if you go to one G Flip show, you're gonna end up going to many because it really is the kind of show that sits with you and it's amazing. How does it make you feel to see fans crying in the front row at a G Flip concert? It's touching. I love seeing it. I'm, you know, I'm obviously their biggest fan. And so to see that, you know, it just, I know that this is what G was made to do. And it truly is always, you know, even when things get hard, you know you are exactly where you're supposed to be, doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And we, you know, I've said that to G many times because, you know, there are hard times and, you know, putting this album together and different things are just so many things that fall through or, you know, don't go the way that you wish that they would. And in those moments, that's exactly what you're doing it for. It's all worth it. You know, a lot of times the hard parts aren't going to be what goes on Instagram. You know, those are the, you know, the grit and the things that you, you know, people don't see how hard G works every single day when they're not on stage, but I do. And so I just think it's really amazing to see that because it's like, you know, this is, it's all worth it. And you did it. You know better than anyone now. What makes G Flip tick? <laughs> um, you know what? Obviously their passion for music and doing what they love. I feel like, you know, when they're really able to express themselves in that way and have fun with it, that keeps them going. You know, it, they're so passionate and determined about all of that. And then just, you know, 
they're so funny and just being able to have those days where you know even in between work and things like that where you're just able to you know you know just relax have each other or have a laugh you know just have that family is very important to g friends are very important to g nothing that probably people watching you know doesn't mean to them you know g isn't i feel like that's the most refreshing thing i feel like they're just this really amazingly talented normal person that you know um fame is not going to affect how have they changed your life in the best ways i feel like how do i put into words um you know i feel like i i looked for a long time for this kind of a soul connection and it's just one of those things where you know we do have different lives and there are times where we have to be apart obviously we facetime every single day um today we were on the phone for an hour and a half <laughs> um and so i just feel like you know i i know that this is what g's meant to do g knows you know i'm you know doing things that i've only ever dreamed of and so we're just really happy for each other and you know i think that those normal stresses that happen you know that we've dealt with in the past it is nice when you feel like you're with somebody that really gets you on a deeper level because you're not dealing with the same issues that normally come up like that you know i know you have to be gone i know you have to do those those things it, you know it of course we want to be together all the time but we understand that it is what it is what are your hopes for g in the future grab one of those arias coming up <laughs> six nominations i really want them to be able to bring at least one home um you know obviously it's not all about the awards but um i just think all that work they put into this album would be amazing um and you know it shakes up the industry a little bit i know they don't have all those votes coming from those big labels and uh, i think the work speaks for themselves but it is an uphill battle so that would be my short term goal for g and you know just you know keep doing what they love doing you know um and just looking forward to what we have coming up in our future and it's going to be really bright i can't wait beautiful that's awesome thank you so much chrishell of course thank you for having me oh,